For the next 24 hours, I will only be playing GTA 5 online. Oh my god! <laughs> and I will be starting all the way at a level 1. Yeah, this should be very fun. Now, I only have two goals over the next 24 hours. Goal number one, reach enough money to get the most toxic vehicle in the game, the oppressor. Now, the reason behind this is very simple. One, I like the vehicle. And two, is it even possible on a new account to reach this vehicle in the next 24 hours? However, my next goal might be even more difficult than that. You see, GTA 5 is known for a somewhat toxic status while you're online. So to make things simple, I simply want to find a friend to prove that this game still has hope when it comes to finding some good people. Well, I guess this is it, my friends. Let's the 24 hours start now. start off, of course, you need to start a new account with a new character. And crazy enough, the game actually starts you off with four million dollars. Which is great, right? No. I want to be as close to zero dollars as possible. However, you're then able to select a criminal career that you want. Now, I picked a nightclub, but I'm probably not even going to use it that much. And now that I'm done spending all this money, it was finally time for me to get inside the game. Alright, I think that's as much as I can Now spend. that I have a game, we still have a problem. I still have money. I never thought I would say that as a problem, but... <laughs> so, I decided to trade in my property, which ended up making me lose a good amount of money. That's a good amount. And I still had a little bit of money left over, so I decided to buy some bikes. And, of course, in typical GTA 5 online fashion, I was, well... Hello, fr- Okay. Yeah, don't be like this guy. Please. He really had to do that to me. He just had to. I purchased my last bike, and there you have it. I'm at $80. I think it's low enough, so let's start making some actual money now. Now, I'm a long way from my oppressor. I mean, really, a long way away. I mean, look at that. And the clock is already ticking, so I need to make some money. And the first way that I thought about making money was, well, races. I ended up getting into a lobby with one other player, and it was, a uh, you know, a little... So, uh, how are you doing? Okay. Anyways, I was killing it in the race, and this mysterious man or woman ended up leaving, so I automatically won. Big W to start. Feeling good. I got my first big payday, over $13,000. Yay me. But still, the depressor is nowhere close to being mine, so no time to get comfortable. I decided to do a stunt jump, which I'll be honest, I had a, a lot of fun doing. Whoa! However, you don't really get a lot of money when it comes to the stunt jumps. Well, that was kind of a waste. And I'm not sure what it was, but in that exact moment, I had a great idea on a quick way to make money and make it fast. Casino. Now, you get an opportunity to spin the wheel every day, and since I'm only going to be playing for 24 hours, I was really hoping that this one spin would get Give me a massive payday and a huge bump. Or even get me a nice car in the meantime. And well... Alright, here we go. I I'm thinking I'm gonna get at least... Get some money. Get some money. I'm hoping some money here. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Give me some money. Give me some money. What do we got? Okay. I guess, uh, RP isn't, isn't the worst thing. I took my talents to gambling at Blackjack. And I'm not really even gonna explain this part because, um, I, I didn't win anything. So it wouldn't even be worth explaining. Thankfully, I broke even, so I didn't even have to cry about my defeat for long. Well, so far, not a lot is working for me, but it's still very early. And I just remembered something. GTA 5 Online just had a new update, and you can now deliver pizzas. And if you've watched my other GTA 5 videos, I have a thing for hot and ready pizza. I figure this is a great, simple way to make money. Nothing could possibly go wrong. If anyone is watching this, please don't be like, Happy Gilmore 10. Unbelievable. Thankfully, that was the only roadblock I had, and I was able to give each and every customer their pizzas on time. Here you go, sir. Hot and ready. Hey, hot and ready for you. <laughs> and hey, it paid pretty good, actually. Alright, I got some money in my pocket. Now, I know I'm a long way from the oppressor, but the one thing I haven't started really trying to look for yet is a friend. So I went to this specific mission zone and joined it, hoping that people would have some mics for these missions. And I'll be honest, these missions were pretty fun. Unfortunately, nobody had mics at all. Maybe they just didn't want to talk to me. I, I, I have no idea. You got it. You got it. Blow it up. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Either way, I still passed, and hey, I still made some pretty good money. This is a huge payday. Oh, my gosh. RP's up. I'm feeling good, my friends. I'm feeling good. However, for the rest of the missions that I was doing, I ended up hanging out with this guy named Solo Just. He didn't have a mic. I kind of felt like there was something between each other. I kind of felt like we had a connection of some sorts. Because we were doing every single mission beside each other. All right, Solo Just, get in there. I'm guarding you with my sniper. You and me, friend. At least I think, friend. All right, I just took down the game, boss. You want to be my friend? <laughs> You're dead. That's not possible. Again, I still passed, still made some money, but no friend. I tried adding him in as a friend, and well, you know, there was there was no luck there. We're not even gonna get into that. Well, I don't I don't know if he's gonna be my friend or not. The good news was I was still making money, actually lots of it. All right, nice. There we go. More money. 
are just rolling it in, man. Money is coming in. I'm feeling good and feeling refreshed. All right, now, we have $200,000 now. I'm going to deposit. Look at all that money. I mean, guys, we've come a long way already. I'm definitely closer to getting that oppressor, but I'm not closer to getting a friend. So I put friendship really at the top of my list because, hey, if I can make a friend, then money should follow, right? I finally met a guy with the mic, and, well, he told me a pretty sad story. I'm sorry, dude. Not too long ago, but I'm working on PS5, so... Oh, okay. Fortunately, we really didn't click. Okay, guys, can somebody, uh, I only got a pistol. So does anybody want to help? Oh, we just, somebody just died. All right. Okay, well, there goes the communication. However, I can't say the same for the next guy I met. I joined this Kayo Perico fighting thing, and man, I met probably one of the greatest guys ever. Yo, hello. What's up, brother? Yeah, bro. How you doing? Uh, what? i from France. Uh, I don't understand. Oh, I just asked how, how you were doing. Um, Paris. Okay. <laughs> 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 Paris And you, uh, where are you from? America. Oh! Uh, uh Washington DC. Chicago. Uh, Chicago. Where? Chicago. Oh! Chicago. Now guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not from Chicago, but hearing the pure excitement out of this man when he found out where I supposedly lived was so fulfilling to me, I, I just I just couldn't lie to him. Chicago. I ended up doing a really good job in the fight, and hey, I ended up winning. Let's go, W's my friends. We got it. Mm -hmm. How much? 67,000? Oh my gosh. Unfortunately, the Paris guy ended up leaving, and the next lobby session was, well... Helicopter, helicopter. And this time around, we ended up getting destroyed. More specifically, I was getting destroyed. I'm coming in hot. Oh. Here we go. Here oh, gosh. This time I got... Oh, my gosh. So I ended up leaving. But I quickly regretted that when I joined the next session. Let's get out of here. Who is riding a, pr a suppressor behind me? Oh, no way. Please. Uh, I'm in the Lamborghini. Chill out. Please. Uh, please, dude. I don't want to die, please! I'll do anything, please! 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 Yo! Anything? I'm like, I got a gun! And the thing is, it got even more weird the next session I joined. You know, I don't know what to say, dude. There's so many important people in history that have changed the course of history. And you now it's like, humans are such violent creatures and we always look to hate we always Man, want to what are you talking about bro and again it wouldn't be gta 5 online without a little toxicity you he get so mad about me being in the road look at your yelling <laughs> this is a, this is a bigger deal than the road Shut the Mom. Look at every time I say that, you start yelling, isn't that? <laughs> oh, you get so angry. I'm gonna get oh, there you are. There you are. Come let it out. I'm gonna be in the road for you. Come hit me and let it out. There you go. You still didn't kill me. Come on. <laughs> I'm giving you a free shot. There you go. There you go. Come on. You're almost there. Oh! <laughs> I ended up letting him kill me because he clearly needed it. So again, if anyone that plays this game is watching this, don't be like Jay so smooth. But if you do run into a guy like this, simply try and add him as a friend, say hey, and oh, don't forget the smiley face. There you go, he's gonna like that. We're friends. Now after the encounter, something really unexpected happened. You see, I ran into what you would call an exploiter. He let me in on a little shortcut on getting over a million dollars pretty quickly. Okay, so this is the uh, heist here. All right, let's start it up. Uh, well, this is like the little glitch that I'll be doing. Oh. That's easy to me. Okay. So it's like a, it's like a back out the game glitch. So since I'm the host. You're gonna be getting all the money. Due to confidentiality reasons, we completely completed the heist ethically and correctly. So if any Rockstar employees are watching, I did this heist fully. Also, you were over nine minutes into a Jano's World video, so you might as well subscribe, my friend. Woo! Man, that was difficult. Man, that was difficult. We did it, though. We did it. Oh, boy. Look at all that money coming in, baby. The alleged exploiter ended up leaving, and I, I didn't ever... I never saw him again. However, I was a lot close to the oppressor. But, man, I'm starting to lose interest in it. All I want is a normal person that I can have a connection with. A normal person that I can have a friendship with. You know what? Maybe that's just not in the cards for me. I don't know. 
I decided to just start grinding. I did some more of the same missions I did earlier, and hey, they, they ended up paying really well. Get out of here. Get out of here, you crazy guy. More money, more money. I ended up getting into a drifting competition. All right, let's go. First place is what I'm going to get. There we go. There we go. Okay. Rough start. We're going to finish in first, though. We're going to finish in first. Don't you worry about it. Yep, first place, baby. And that's the first place prize, my man. Look at all that money. I was also able to join a guy for a big heist, and I'll be honest, I got a little too into the heist. Nobody move and no one gets hurt. No one likes the hero. Let's do it, dude. Cops are out here. Oh, crap. Get in. Oh, my gosh. We did it. We did it, brother. That's probably the reason he's not my friend right now. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I guess this is just the GTA 5 online experience. Grind on your own, stick to yourself, and I guess make some money on the way. I might be closer to the oppressor, but I don't know. It, it just feels a little weird to me. I ended up playing golf good? with some random people, which was cool. Nice hit. Shit. All right. All right, you're about to see the best hit of your life, all right? It's a hole-in-one starting off. Hole in one right here, my boys. Oh. Nah. Nah, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to see any comments about that. No comments making fun of me there. None. None. Doing death masters and just anything I could. I'm now all the way over six million dollars. I can literally smell that oppressor. And then out of nowhere, I met a kid. Does anybody know how to make some money? Yeah. We're gonna do Kyle Rico. We gotta do the setup. I already done a little oh. bit of setups for the uh, Diamond Casino heist. Um, all right. Now this kid was speaking my language. He seemed excited to make money, and not only that, but he seemed like an actual nice person. So you're kind of like a pro then, because I need help. Alright, what's, what's your game attack? Alright, let me add you. Alright, uh, sure. We can go on an invite only, alright? Okay. And without even realizing it, I was actually having a real conversation with somebody. So, uh, how long you have been, how long you been playing this game for, my man? You seem a little young. I won't even know, like, six years, five years, seven if you count. How old are you? I'm 10, bro. I've been playing for a long time. You've been playing for six years like and you're 10? Oh, that's crazy, yes. bro. That's crazy. You got the oppressor? Yeah, Mark 1. Damn. I used to have the I used to have the two, but I, I didn't like it because a lot of people thought I was a griefer. This kid's name was Rini, and firstly, could we just spam we love Rini in the comments? Because this kid is a true saint. You're lucky you met me today, bro. I'm going all out, bro. I like helping people. He let me borrow his oppressor, and I'll be honest, I didn't even know that there was another variant of this until he told me. I wasn't very good at writing it, though. All right, All right I'm going. Oh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna okay. Task. I'm gonna be 100% honest the with the you. I'm probably gonna crash. Nope, I'm probably gonna. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness. Boost okay, well, yeah, what's is, boost? Um, L3 or. Okay, nothing's R3, working, though. Like the nothing's little, working, um, no joysticks. Okay, I just died. However, this kid gave me an opportunity of a lifetime. He told me he would give me 85% of a cut for a heist, the casino heist. Basically, you go into the casino, you grab the money, and you get out of there. And this kid had an airtight plan. This is, okay, this is what we're gonna do. Be sneaky. Okay, do not shoot any guards. I'll tell you if you can shoot any guards. Just stay by me, okay? Okay, all right, all right. And if we alert the guards, shoot everybody. Okay, all right, I, I hear you. All right, I couldn't give you 90, but you got 85. Oh, dude, that's totally fine. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm nervous. This is it. This is literally it. If you guys aren't understanding the severity of this situation, if I get this heist, I will have more than enough for my oppressor mod too.
I think there's another one right here. Wait. There might be a dude right here, so. I gotta hack that one too. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh my god, bro, my heart is fast as heck. Unfortunately, not only did Rini die, but my PS5 decided to literally turn off. The worst part was, when I went back to check if Rini was back online, he wasn't. And well, I was officially out of time. Like Rini said, all everybody wants... Back then, all level 15 players, all they wanted was Lamborghini. Now, all they want is Presser Mark to the grief. You know, I've been playing this game for the last 24 hours, starting all the way at a level 1. And I met some really interesting people along the way. And I did end up making a friend. And I'm sure if I really wanted to, I could reconnect with him and still try to earn the Oppressor Mach 2. But I still got the Oppressor. Maybe it wasn't the one that I wanted, but hey, it's nice to know that I can confidently say not all people are toxic with this game. If you like this video, the same guy that made this video actually made another video. And it's really cool. He's in it as well. He's really awesome. <laughs> Subscribe. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.